look on Cam McDonald's face. He's got the fighters there down, if nothing else. Spinning kick to the midsection lands. You're starting to see that spinning kick a lot more because it can cover a lot of ground. You're, you're basically, you can use two body lengths in there when a traditional kick you need to just be within range. So you'll see a lot more of that. And there's that brawling forward rush by Cam McDonald. A glancing blow from Mapanda on the way out of that exchange. Another one gets through. Trying to hit the head movement, move it forward. Mapanda winds up on top, though a nice defense. Jeremy, it looked like McDonald was going for a trip. Mapanda just throwing him to the ground. It's important that when you're going for the trips, you have to have the uh, a base in behind you. Those trips when you're standing up like that, it's, all it is doing is putting you on one table leg as opposed to two. So that's why the easy takedown. But here's a good position from Joe Mapanda using this side control, and he's going to start to try and throw knees because, again, there is no traditional ground and pound, so you won't see the elbows or the fists to the head in this position. So it's really only used to throw those big good solid knees just like that one there by Joe Mapanda. Yeah, it's been quite a few knees here from the top from Mapanda here in this situation. Another one added there and those start to add up, Jeremy, especially as uh, as the round progresses now. Uh, stepping into a half guard, Joe Mapanda maybe open up something uh, with his fist, uh, shots to the chest. That does allow though Cam McDonald to fight his way back to his feet and he hears it from the crowd here in Calgary. Well, and this crowd has been coming to these Hard Knocks events. This is our 44th one in six years, or just under six years. And so these are very intelligent fans. We have a very loyal fan base here. So when they see good technique, which includes getting up off the ground, they really do appreciate it, not for the uh, expect of action of the standing fighting as opposed to ground fighting, but... Uh, Couple more knees from Joe Mapanda up against the cage, doing a very good job of the dirty boxing here, trying the trip. Cam McDonald take, trying to take down. Joe Mapanda answers with a nice double there. He locked those hands around the thighs of Cam McDonald, and as soon as he did, he was able to secure that takedown. Good work by Mapanda. Yeah, just squeezed the legs together and took McDonald down to the ground. Mapanda now on top in the mount position. Again, not the best position for our fighters to be in here under the amateur rules because uh, at this point you've got shots to the upper body as well as submission attempts, which you see Mapanda going here for. Uh, going for here right now. Yeah, the Americana is, uh, is really what you kind of work from here. If you're using the Americana or perhaps, and uh, a little check there by the official to make sure that uh, it wasn't a tap, but uh, Cam McDonald said no. Nice transition to the arm bar. Mapanda gonna try and finish this off with short time remaining. Has to get those arms free. McDonald with a wall walk to defend. For Cameron McDonald out of the blue corner. There's a big pop there for Cameron McDonald, so perhaps a little more fan support. Yeah, a lot of fans coming down. Uh, makes his hometown out of Fernie, BC. Said he's living just outside of Edmonton right now. And so uh, not that far a trek for uh, uh, the fans of Cam McDonald to come down. That was an excellent late kick from Joe Mapanda. Uh, and then the, the return kick from Cam McDonald. And there's a nasty leg kick from Joe Mabanda. And this is how he was able to, to secure wins in his, or the win in his first fight with these nasty leg kicks. Yeah, Joe Mapanda very quick. Anytime McDonald gets close and aborts on, on a punch or a kick of his own, Mapanda answering with a snapping leg kick and really stalking McDonald around the cage right now. Good movement, though. That's a big punch there, and Cameron McDonald might be in trouble. Seems to have recovered, firing a big punch of his own. Swinging was Cameron McDonald. Mapanda answering, though. And again, Mapanda stalking here, Jeremy McDonald backing off. And it's one of those things where cage experience really does mean something. Looking for the spinning back fist and eats a right hand for his trouble. Now swinging away. McDonald swinging from the waist. Mapanda wanting nothing more to do with it. A nice sprawl there from McDonald to avoid the takedown. That was a smart play by Joe Mapanda there. He was getting the worst of the striking, so he went in on the double leg. He was to his knees, so he can't be striking the head, and he does eventually end up securing the takedown. So he's really gonna have to work, because there was a couple good punches by Cam McDonald in there that, that really could be cemented in the judges' minds that Mapanda has to do some work on the ground. Yeah, that may have been inexperience on the part of Cameron McDonald trying to pop up for the strike, didn't get away fast enough, and therefore allowed Mapanda to drive through and finish that takedown. We talk about the, the killer instinct, but Joe Mapanda landed a good shot, but didn't rush in. 
he, he, he took his time. He didn't rush in and, and walk into a big punch. So that's a good sign here from this young fighter that it's important to be aggressive and have that killer instinct, but you have to do it intelligently. If you just rush in, you're gonna get caught with a big shot. Timeout's been called. It is my bet we'll find out what's going on, but it may be a strike to the head of a downed opponent. Yeah, that, that's and no elbows to the head. Um, so uh, a, a, a bad illegal blow there from Joe Mapanda, and uh, that may cost him a walk around the cage with a one. Uh, we'll see how it goes. No, just, just a warning. Just a warning here for Joe Mapanda, but uh, the referee is stern warning in the corner. Not unusual to see points deducted for that here in Calgary. Well, it might have been. It might have even been the the point of the elbow on the neck, because I don't know if I saw a strike, but I did hear a warning about watch that elbow, watch that elbow. There's a nice, good. Oh, that kick was monstrous. Big from Joe kick, Mapanda. Big kick to the midsection of Cameron McDonald. Joe Mapanda now looking to finish. Jeremy, he's coming in strong and doing what he can to secure the round, make sure that the only thing the judges remember is his striking and his takedowns and his work and a very effective performance here from Joe Mapanda. These are nice knees being landed to the side of Cameron McDonald. Another one there. This is going to be an interesting round to call because Cameron McDonald did have some pretty good exclamation point. Well, you hope that that's what the coaches say because you don't want to put your, your fighter in a position where he thinks he's winning the fight because it's just... Uh, not necessarily the best position to be in. Another nice combination from a panda, a big kick. Every time McDonald comes close, he's getting a kick in the midsection and a nice takedown here. Good follow through from Joe Mapanda. Panda got underneath the, the big punches from Cameron McDonald and he's throwing these with a lot of lot of hate, a lot of anger coming out of them. And you, you show the difference here between with Joe Mapanda and uh, and the way that he's doing it more as a martial artist, less as a brawler. He's recognizing that brawling, so he's just ducking underneath it. And that is a nasty welt on the leg of uh, Cam McDonald. And that's got to be from that big leg kick that we, uh, we saw in round two. Yeah, leg kicks and targeted knee attacks. That welt is going to look, it looks bad now, which means it's going to be very bad tomorrow. Joe Mapanda on top right now. Looks like he's trying to find that arm bar again, Jeremy, like he did at the end of round one. Get himself a finish here on top of Cameron McDonald. And it may just be a matter of time before he skips away. McDonald doing a, a the good work here, though, Jeremy, trying to throw him a panda back to the other side so that he doesn't, he's not able to spring off into that arm bar position, uh, using the cage to his advantage there. But Mapanda now walking him away, transitioning, shifting his weight, maybe looking for the arm bar on the other side. Good positioning here in the mount, landing some punches to the body. Again, you're probably not going to win a fight that way, but you are showing the judges that you're doing the right technique in, in if it was traditional ground and pound, that you would be landing on the head. Yeah, you can win a fight that way. You just can't finish a fight that way. And uh, Joe Mapanda looking for the finish here, trying to find a submission. Uh, again, it's, it's that grappler's game of waiting for your opponent to make a mistake, taking a little bit of his arm and giving you a little piece of it so that you can get the rest of it. One minute left here in the, the third and final round between these two amateur fighters, Cameron McDonald making his amateur debut. Joe Mapanda already 1-0 on his career and well on his way here to victory number two. Calm and composed here is Joma Panda on top with less than a minute to go, landing some good shots. And again, this is this is good signs for a fighter that he's able to work this position well and continue to go back and forth between striking and submission attempts. And those are some nice shots by Mapanda as well. Yeah, some big hammer fists to the side. And again, just trying to give the judges a show and say, yep, there's no question about who's winning this round. There's no question about who's winning this fight. Joe Mapanda has been in control through the majority of the fight. And again, looking to secure that arm bar. And now it's a matter for Cameron McDonald is can he make it to a decision and, or can Joe Mapanda break apart his grip and find himself an arm bar victory looks like time is going to run out on Joe Mapanda here but a very impressive performance from the young amateur